In this session, let us understand the difference between financial lease and operating lease. The first difference is with regard to the risk and reward. If you take financial lease, the risk and reward which are actually related to ownership are passed on to the lessee. Okay, and here lessor is only the legal owner of the asset. But if you take operating lease, lessee is given only the right to use that asset, that too only for certain period of time. Okay, so we can say risk and reward which are incidental to ownership belongs only to the lesser in case of operating lease. The second difference is with regard to obsolescence. If you take financial lease, it is the lessee who is going to bear the risk of obsolescence, whereas in operating lease, it will be with lesser. The third difference is with regard to cancellation of lease. If you take financial lease, lesser is very much interested in rentals only. It means he is not particular about asset. It means his focus is getting his principal back along with the interest. So we can say financial lease is non-cancellable by either party. But in operating lease, lesser may not have any difficulty in releasing the same asset to any other lesser. Okay, so lease is kept cancellable by lesser in operating lease. Fourth difference is with regard to repairs and maintenance. In financial lease, lesser is entering only, I mean entering into transaction only as a financier. So he will not bear the cost of repairs and maintenance. Okay, But in case of operating lease, lesser will bear all those costs. The fifth difference is with regard to payout. In case of financial lease, that single lease itself will repay the cost of the asset along with interest. We can say that as a full payout. Whereas operating lease will not give payout because the lessor will lease the same asset over and over again to several users.